All right, so obviously we're not on the PCT anymore. Also, if you hear whimpering or barking, that's my dad's dogs, uh, Charlie and Chase. Uh, we're in the backyard, but um, yeah. Uh, like I said, obviously we're not on the PCT. We are back in Fresno. Uh, we've just decided that our styles of hiking are completely different. I am someone who loves to be in a group that um, when I see a fellow hiker, I like to say hi, get like info on like what's going on ahead or like where they've been, where um, like where they're, where they're coming from, um, how many days on trail, just like, you know, getting that kind of information and and I'm very regimented. I would, you know, be like, want to get up at 6.30 or 6 o'clock, be out by 6.30. And then you just do your mile. You nod, recognize everybody that goes by. He's but, not an asshole. But, but again, <laughs> the, my goal would be to get from A to B, not stopping, being interrupted. Just get in the zone and go. And Yeah, and I'm just more like, you know, we'll get there when we get there, you know. We saw some of this when we were practicing and yeah. doing other hikes and last year getting set up, but one, we didn't have much time to do as many as we would have liked because of our schedules, mm -hmm. so one thing to call out to anyone doing this in the future who's watching this, just try to get on as many real hikes as possible, as many backpacking as you can. Um, but still, in the end, it's yeah. the trail doesn't care how many miles you have under your belt or how hard you've worked out to get in shape it yeah. the trail doesn't care yeah. um i we were hiking in big sur and we came across like these two friends and i was talking to um one of the people and she said she wanted to share a piece of advice with me that her mother told her which was no matter how hard you train you still can't beat the earth which is so true, especially with the year we've had. Yeah. Um, we did end up having an early start date. We started March 8th. And when we picked the date and we told people about it, a lot of people were like, well, why did you pick that date? The thing is that we picked the, we were in the first round. And when we picked the date, we, no one had any idea what this winter season was going to be like. So we picked, I would have picked, either way, I would have picked a March date versus a May date. Yeah. And then the second round came through and we still ended up having like, having a late log in time. So we were just like, let's just keep the date. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, kind, kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, physically I, we were both doing fine. Yeah, physically we were fine. Just, like we, we were at each other within, you know, like 30 minutes of being on the trail. Yeah. I would be walking behind her, she'd be walking too slow, and in my head I would be all like, oh, she's walking so slow. And then, and then I could feel his energy. <laughs> I don't know, but he, said, he calls it my superpower. I could just feel or sense... Either way, we did end up having a talk and I'm not divorcing you. I'm not divorcing no. my husband. No. Um, but it is a realization that the trail will always be there, but I don't want to. You want to enjoy it. I want you to enjoy the trail, but I that. also don't want <laughs> to lose my husband in the process. Yes. Um, our marriage is way more important than the PCT. That being said, the PCT is more important to her. So next year she's going to go ahead or alone. at least next year or some future year, she will be doing it, going ahead alone. I will be support from a distance instead of support right behind her since clearly that didn't work out and she will try this again. I, on the other hand, I think I learned not having done a longer hundred mile, you know, type hike that I... I can go for the four days and, you know, conceptually my brain was all like, it's just four days and then it's a day off, four days a day off or something like that. Yeah. And that's, it's not the case. It slowly builds on you. And 
for me, that was just a little too much. I just needed more time in between to clean my slate and not get all stuck in the logistics of where are we going next? When are we going to get there? How fast should we get there? Which was, you know, my, that's my background. That's my job. I do engineering. So I'm always trying to plan this and everything. And unfortunately, this is, this year was not something that you could do that with. I mean, you could by, you know, taking your time. Yeah, but those are very vague things. And you can already see it right now. Like, <laughs> like she's just like, take your time. And I'm just like, well, how long do you take your time? When do you take your time? I want all the details. She's more willing to just it was go like, with it. Oh, and, our, our, yeah. It was March 8th, and then our permit was till the end of September. Yep. With that said, too, though. All of this ridiculous weather hopefully will disappear when she does it next time. She won't have to do all that. I think we will. did 308 miles total through all of the ridiculousness as amateurs. So I think everybody we've talked to is all like, yeah, you guys did really crazy stuff during a crazy year. That includes all of her family who are like yeah. native Californians and all of the other Californians who are just like, you know been around the area forever and are just like yeah something so or california was a, a little bit screwed up i think up i was talking to i think it was sleuth and she said that she wouldn't be out here given this year like with the snowpack she i believe she said she was like no <laughs> so if someone like sleuth says like this would be out of her comfort zone that says a lot for even us to do it and then getting 300 miles i think we're kind of badasses so yep um, and it also gives us a couple or a hundred mile under our belt. And now we know what we both like about longer distances and yeah. And I think one of the other things is that because of the year that we've had, none of us expect, well, we did expect ha taking zeros, but not, um, weeks hiking or multiple weeks of zero. Yeah. Or like bouncing around and. Figuring out, like, there's a storm coming in, we have this many days to get to this town, and then we're going to wait it out. There was, uh, yeah, it was just too many zeros early on, and then all of the flipping, we just did not put that scenario into what we saved up. And I don't think anybody did, just because yeah. it's not what everybody saw coming. Mm-hmm. Nobody saw a record-setting year, so. And, yeah. again, record-setting year, novices, sliding off of hills, both of us, while we were going up there in the snow, that leads you to a little bit of, little bit of anxiety, a little bit of panic, and then the next yeah. thing you know, you're like, I don't want to die. Exactly. I think the, what happened was we were heading Sobo, and we were, um, on the San Gabriel's, we were heading towards uh, Mill Creek Fire Station, and there's the a bunch of switchbacks, and we were heading down, and there were two times where I lost my footing and actually almost fell off trail. So that was enough for me to be like, nope, not today. So that's when uh, we decided to get off. That was the um, time. Yeah, that was the second time. One other takeaway that I from this hike. And it even was it wasn't on the PCT. I learned this. It was when we were hiking Big Sur. I don't have a reaction to poison oak, so that's a great takeaway. <laughs> don't jinx yourself for next. I know. I like to believe that I'm the twenty person that doesn't get it. So. So yeah, so we we decided to call it just to save yeah. ourselves. Our relationship will be doing yeah. some other side stuff. And then My marriage is more important than hiking the PCT at this mo at the moment. So <laughs> at the moment, at the moment. So we are going to take this time, and we did have the money saved for the PCT. So we're probably gonna see some sites in the states. You know, <laughs> go to. Yellow Glacier National Park or um, drive out to Wisconsin and see a few of your friends in Madison. Um, and then I've only been to the East Coast once and that was when I was in the marching band and my high school got to 
performed for in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And that was the one and only time. So it would be cool to head back to the East Coast, uh, go to Washington, D.C., see the Smithsonian, uh, check out the Smithsonian, um, go to New Orleans. That'd be pretty cool. We got a list. We just got to organize it on. Yeah, so maybe there. the videos that you guys will see now would be of our will be of our road trip. And then we'll head back to hopefully Seattle and go from there. Go from there. But uh, we do want to thank you everyone who has been following our journey. Um Part of me, yeah, wish it did end differently. Like, the last video that you see of us would have been when we made it to Canada. But, um, you know, shit happens. This year happened. This year happened. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This year definitely happened. Yeah, we learned from it. And then, yeah, next time, hopefully... You will be seeing John alone, nice and happy, on the trail, and no 5%. Just hug Zaw. Hug Zaw. Yeah, so now it's hug Zaw because I say, well, one, because I need a hug, and I like to give hugs. And second, I, in my text messages when, I, when we're on trail and I'm talk, like talking to other hikers, I usually end it with a huzzah. Like H U Z Z A H, huzzah. So we have combined hugs and huzzah together for hugzah. So. Sounds like a kaiju Godzilla thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yep. That's. If you have any questions about getting into this as a couple, we have plenty of answers for you. For Don't do it as a couple. Yeah, as many people... Hike alone. I, it's funny, because there were comments about it where it was... A lot of people were like, hike alone. <laughs> and uh, I, I think it's the truth. Mm -hmm. The whole, like, hike your own hike is impossible to do if you're in or if you're in a couple. Somebody's going to have to give in, unless you're very, very similar. We are not. So that that's made that, that much harder. And then definitely... Yeah. If there's anything that you're, you know, always seems to pop up while you're doing smaller hikes and you haven't done a larger hike, expect it to pop up many, many more times. And if either of you aren't able to deal with it mentally quickly, it's, it's going to be a problem. So yeah. Just got to be cognizant of how your partner feels and then be willing to potentially yeah. jump off if things don't work out i think the big one for you was when it came to blowdowns and it was like <laughs> like the ones that were almost at like shoulder level or height as like, a tall person these middling little like blowdowns where i can't go underneath because my bag's too tall and i'm too tall but going over is a pain in the butt so then it ends up being take off bag, throw a bag underneath, throw sticks underneath, hobble underneath, put bag back on, go do all that. And then in the area where right before we stopped around Mill Creek, it was then walk a hundred feet, do it again. Yeah. So. And it's like, I turn around and I'm just staring at it, my husband and I could just feel his energy. Oh yeah. The thing is I could keep doing it forever, but everybody around me is going to feel me and just know that I'm irritated and frustrated. Which to me is fine. You're just, you're going for the miles. You're pushing to go through. It's supposed to be hard. But again, this yeah. is, what are you trying to get out of the PCT as well as a whole other yeah. concept to talk about as couples? Because like for me, it was all, you know, the challenge of doing the miles, being on there, doing the food and everything else. But, you know, not necessarily enjoying it. Whereas she mentioned for her, if she, she's a site that, you know, catches her eye she may stop right dead in her tracks and look at it and, and take a photo for, or take a video for you know maybe multiple minutes you know so yeah you just got to be very aware of what your partner is wanting to do and how they do it yeah. and whether or not it meshes with you there's so. like one part i think we left hiker town we were heading sobo oh god that one agua dulce <laughs> we were, i think we're, yeah we were heading to agua dulce and um the higher the more elevation that we as 
ascended. Yes. Okay. Um, like you see all these beautiful wildflowers, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is beautiful. And I just like take out my phone, take a photo or take a video, and then. A few switchbacks later, it's like the same view, just bigger. And I take this, Derek's like, this is the same photo. This is the same video that you took five minutes ago. And oh it was, but it doesn't matter because the reality is, is it clearly still beautiful. <laughs> so awe inspiring on both yeah. grounds that she needed and wanted to take time. And it's just yeah. Which to me, that, that, and again, like you can tell this by the way we're talking about it. For me, it's just like, really? Really? I can compare both of these side by side and they probably look the exact same. So, again, talk to your partner. Have gone on more longer through hikes. Again, we were kind of, our job situation between us kind of got, got us in a situation where the day that she could, we could go hiking was the day that she was super tired. And it just didn't make sense to do it because she would just be miserable the next day. And yeah, so mm -hmm. I would have liked to have done longer ones. We weren't able to. We did 308 miles. Now we know we can't do them together for that long a period. Yeah. Uh, we can do section hikes no problem, yeah. but she still wants to do it as a through hike. So I think that's like always, it's always been my goal was to hike the Pacific Crest Trail no bow. Which also you no have an flipping. opportunity to continue with just Novo this time, not bouncing around. Yeah. Like did. So. so, next year. All for the, you know, everything worked out probably for the better overall. So, yeah. As disappointing as it was, and as very difficult as it was for the I last mean, three, four days. To... Disappointing, yes, but I believe that we also learned a lot about each other. Oh, yes, yes. We learned a ridiculous amount. It was all completely worth it. Completely worth it. Yeah. Um, we're fortunate, again, though, unlike others who are international, who've got limited times and or, and or aren't coming from, aren't from the West Coast. So, you know, for others, this could have been a much worse situation. So just, yeah, plan talk to each other. Yeah, the outcome could have been a lot worse, but I'm glad that it wasn't. Yeah. But yeah, I think that covers it. Yep. You will see more videos. Eventually, there will be a PCT hugs only 2024. Maybe you should just... You can make your own new channel if you want to, but then you lose all the No, I'm not going to make a full new channel. <laughs> but I am... I don't know. Hugs, huzzah. We'll get there. Maybe I'm ah. still up in the air with my name. Okay. Yeah. There's a spider? Yeah, it's, a, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> yep. But everyone else that's on trail still, I wish you, we wish you the best of luck. Um, if you figure out what you're going to do, come. If we're in Seattle and y'all made it to... Uh, the border and you need a place to stay or you're about to get there and you're in the vicinity hit us up we would love to host you we'll definitely be doing some trail angeling if the, yes the one thing I, yeah. I, you didn't mention that but yeah for sure yeah. after all of this and doing it now it's like you appreciate what everybody is trying to do and as close as we are to pct in seattle there's no reason we can't help out and stay part of the community and, you know. Yeah. Maybe try to find ourselves a way to get to, you know, Section K or something right before it. and Do some sort of, trail magic. Do some trail magic, you know, right up front. If not there, somewhere else. But somewhere along Washington where we can keep yeah. with the PCT. And, We're know. hoping to get back to Seattle hopefully sometime around August, so. And given the weather, I suspect most people won't be in Washington. And maybe like well, Oregon. Sobo. I guess there'll be some Sobos, maybe. Yeah. We'll learn how bad Sobo is, too. So. Yeah. This year is just not a year for <laughs> average hikers on the PCT. Yeah. Maybe Mountaineers. Yes. And we don't have that skill. <laughs> this is the year of the Mountaineer. I think that might yeah. be the best way. To... Oh, God, yeah, puppies. So. <laughs> oh, hello. This is our dog, Honey Bell. Oh. Look at you, look how cute you are. She's precious. 
when she had suppers. And then there's Chase and Charlie. Charlie's on the other side of the camera. Chase, Chase. This is Chase. But uh, yeah, I think that's, we're gonna conclude the 2023 bullshit year of this uh, <laughs> of this attempt and open it up soon to the 2024. Yeah. So I'll be uh joining those Facebook Facebook groups in a moment. So. Yeah. Stay strong, everybody who's still out there. Yep, and like I said, hit us up when you're in Washington. We would love to host you. And hopefully we can get out there and do some trail magic. So. <sighs> Thank you again, guys, for everything. Following and the trail angels that are out there. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Um, our wonderful host, Richard, you're the man. Across from Paradise Valley Cafe, Richard, his place, and- Please stop rocking it. Yes, PCT hikers, please be respectful to your trail angel hosts and their property. Please <laughs> don't wreck their homes. That's- like not. the bare minimum you can do is just not screw up their place. Yeah, because it only takes one person to ruin it for the rest of us. Yes. Please don't be that person. Um, Rev, you're also amazing too. Um, and Phoenix, if anybody ever gets a chance to stay at Richard's, uh, Phoenix is just adorable. Uh, yeah. The end. The end. <laughs> For now. For now. Dot, <laughs> dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. All right. We love you guys. Thank you again for watching our videos. Um, we will return. We will return. Yes. Okay. <laughs>